for me, it's very important, especially for entrepreneurs, because there's that public part of Steve's story, which is that he was mercurial. Yeah. And so there's the impression that that Steve mm. built this apple, this right. sojournically successful. That is not what happened. What happened to us, that Steve, basically being cast out of his kingdom, right. was now going through the classic hero's journey. Right. So he went off with Next and Pixar, and he failed. He overreached. He made some mistakes, but he's so frigging smart mm. that he realized he was making mistakes. Right. So he altered his behavior. I'd also say he got married and had kids. Right. And the thing that you don't normally think happens in a person was that Steve became more empathetic. You don't think of people as changing. That's sort of like a, a personal characteristic. Right. But, the, but he actually figured out and realized the impact he was having other people. He was self-aware. He became self-aware. He became self-aware. He altered his behavior. Um, he understood, and, uh, and this is around the, the, uh, the, the beginning of when we were making Toy Story, he understood that he had to be a partner. And he used to like go for the ring, like go for everything, right. swing for the fences. And his learning, was, his, his, his learning was, no, actually, I have to be a good partner. Right. And so the interaction then with Disney uh, and with us became a partner relationship. Right. So at this time, he goes back to Apple. And once he's made this change, everybody who saw it stayed with him for the rest of his life. Amazing. So when the stories are now being told about him, right. none of the people, including me, were talking about the new Steve because right. he was still alive. Right. We're not going to psychoanalyze him while he's still alive. Right. It's, and it's also like, it's kind of weird to sit there and be psychoanalyzing somebody who's a business partner. It's like, it's not your place. And it's right. also, it's kind of uncouth to be psychoanalyzing people publicly. It's just weird. Right. So, so the result was the public didn't know about what the new Steve was like. Just right. the people that worked with him and nobody left. Right. So, uh, so basically it was after he, he died. The, right. the, the people said, oh, no, wait a minute. You don't understand. Yeah. This was not... The Steve that we knew. Right. And it was that change Steve, mm. the one who'd gone through the journey and learned those lessons that created the highest value company in the world. Right. All right. And it's the understanding that change, which is really important for people if they want to start something. And when he came to work with you, I remember reading in the book, and everybody should go by Creativity Inc. It's amazing to listen to or read. Um, he was originally pitching you on taking your job. In the meetings, he would say, hey, listen, I'll buy the company. I'll run the company. He wanted to run Pixar at a certain point in time. How, how, what was that conversation like? Well, the first one, which was on a lawn at his house, uh, was he, he had himself as the CEO running it. And uh, uh, it was, I guess, with Allie Ray Smith and I and one other person who was with us. And we said no. Right. So we, we were friends. We walked away. But that isn't what we wanted. Yeah. Then he went and formed Next. Uh -huh. And after he formed Next, he, he then had the company that he wanted to run. But we ran into each other at a SIGGRAPH conference, which coincidentally, fortunately, that year was in San Francisco. Perfect. And that then reopened the discussions. But now it could be on something which is what, where the company could be what we wanted it to be. Hey, everybody. This episode is brought to you by my friends and in partnership with my friends at Audible. And Audible, as you know, is one of my favorite services in the world because I love books. But I have constant downtime when I'm walking and going on my hikes, uh, driving in airplanes, and even when I want to go to bed at night. You know, I'm one of these people. I get so enthusiastic sometimes. I'm on fire, and I need to go to sleep. And I can't watch television because that keeps me up. What I do is I put my earplugs in. I put the sleep timer in my Audible app on 20 minutes. And I listen to some book, whatever it is. And you know the book uh, I was talking about recently, Creativity Inc. by Ed Catmull. What an amazing book where you're going to learn so much about running a company and how to get people to be creative and how to get people to feel safe in their work environment and how to do really innovative things like Pixar did. And Ed's got an amazing story and it's really in an inspiring book and educational. Um, if you haven't used Audible, you can use it anywhere. It's on iPhone, iPad, Android, Windows, everything. And it's unlike any uh, streaming service out there because you own the books. And it's WhisperSync, 
ready. So you can go right between your audiobook and Kindle. You can read at home, listen in the car, as I've said. And if you don't like a book, they will take it back. No questions asked. I love going to the Audible site and just looking at the reviews. The people and the community at Audible are amazing because they love audiobooks too. They love the spoken word and the reviews are always on point. I always get great, great um, advice. So go to audible.com slash twist, go to audible.com slash twist and start a 30 day f- uh, trial membership. You get a free audiobook and download my book of the week, which is Creativity Inc. by Ed Catmull. It is an amazing, amazing book. Here it is. I'm holding the book in my hand, but I want you to get the audiobook. Go to audible.com slash twist and buy Creativity Inc. Or get it for free, actually. 30 day free membership. They give you a free book. It's an incredible service. I love it. Oh, and you know, by the way, it used to be you had to like download these audiobooks and then sync them. Now they have these apps. You can just click a button and you can download it on the go and we'll download the first couple chapters for you and you can read it. So it's so easy now. It's very easy to use uh, Audible and uh, it gets my highest, highest rating. I love Audible and you will love Audible too. You'll love getting smart. Go to audible.com slash twist. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. 